Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to sit down and I want to do a makeup look centered around this new Fenty Beauty Sun LA paint. It's called Undefeated. It's this amazing purple kind of grape shade. And I just wanted to do like a full face of makeup and feature this stunning lip paint. Now I know Valentine's Day is coming up and everybody's going to be a red lip. So I'm going to do my purple lip. Anyway, to get started, I'm going to go in with my MAC Strobe Cream. I've been loving this. And this is the Gold Light. It has like a beautiful tint. And it's been great at hydrating plus priming my skin. And it just feels really nice on the skin. I've already moisturized. I use my Ole Henriksen moisturizer and the banana bright eye cream and for even more illumination and glow I'm gonna go in with my 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 Mac hyper real glow and this is in bronze fix and I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on the high points of my face in here some down here. I'm just going to go in with my MAC um, stippling brush and just kind of blend that in. I want my base to be glowy because I'm not going to do much with my eyes because I want the, um, the lipstick to be the focal point. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Murphy. This is the Fluidity Foundation. I have been loving this. I have this in the shade 4.0. I think it's 4.0. Everything is going to be listed in the description box. I did um, I did a video and a review on this uh, foundation already. And this is a matte foundation, but I have been just loving it. So good. I just want a very flawless base. For concealer, I'm also going to use the Murphy Concealer. This is in the shade 3.65. I also reviewed this on my channel already. Love both of them. They did such a fantastic job with this concealer and foundation. Cream contour, I'm gonna go in with my Stila. This is the Shape and Contour palette. I don't think they make this anymore. But it's always been one of my faves. And I'm just using my e.l.f. stippling brush. And like when I do a contour, I usually clean it up with concealer, so I'm not that concerned if it looks a little streaky or a little blotchy, because I usually clean it up first contour so my cheekbones can pop so I'm gonna powder my under eye and for that I'm gonna use my Fenty powder I got a new shade because originally I'd gotten honey and heels and up I got cashew for under eye I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and I've been loving these powders as well and this one has more of a neutral color 
is um, hazelnut and honey is definitely more yellow so sometimes I like to switch it up with like a neutral color and I'm not gonna bake I'm just gonna wipe that off now with my Murphy brush and I'm not gonna powder my face because I want that glowy look but I'm just gonna go over it with my um, shoulder to my Laura Mercier um, the glow powder and I've been loving this for like a nice bronzy glow and I'm just gonna go in with my elf large powder brush and I'm just gonna like this sweep that over my face for that glow and if you have oily skin this may not be a good thing to do but my skin has been so dry I've been enjoying just putting just this powder right, and now I'm gonna put some powder contour on I'm just gonna use my max studio fix powder this is in the shade NW48 I'm gonna go in with my NARS Ida brush or Ida brush I haven't used this in so long I forgot how good it was and um, how good it is I'm just gonna carve out that contour some more with this powder and I want a really really sharp uh, contour today because I just want like my base to be like classic flawless and this is so easy to contour with like if you're a beginner this is like I'm using a contour with and for blush I'm gonna go in with max trace gold this is the shade right here and like I said I don't want a lot going on on my face so I'm just gonna use this it's very neutral but it just gives like a little glow to the skin it just looks as though I'm just putting like highlight on I think it's perfect for this look that I'm going for and for my eyes, I'm going to prime with my MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. And this is my favorite primer of all time. I just absolutely love it, especially if I'm going to use a cream base. I think this works out great. And I'm going to do a very minimal eye look. And I'm going to start with my Shardo Tilbury. Um, everything is going to be listed in the description box. So this is one of her cream shadows. And I'm just going to go in with my fingers and put that on. Nothing too, too crazy. And over top, I'm going to go in with my hourglass. This is like a foil eyeshadow. And um, this was a bet, actually, from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is like a pretty soft gold and I think it would be perfect for what I'm trying to achieve not doing too much with the eyes just like a little pop of gold all right so I'm gonna pop some lashes on and I'll be right back all right so I'm wearing Coco Lashes a Goddess and I would usually go in on my bottom lash with black eyeliner uh, because I just want this to be all about the lip and very minimal eye. I'm going to go in with my MAC um, Costa Reach eye pencil and this is like a warm brown color and I'm just going to go in with this instead of black eyeliner and I took some of the hourglass for shadow and I put it on the beginning of my lower lash line and now I'm gonna go in with mascara on my bottom line and I'm gonna use the benefit bad gal I've been loving this this is like a sample I got but I'm definitely definitely gonna get the full size I think it's so pretty. 
I'm gonna stab myself in the eye. All right, so now I'm gonna set my face with my Murphy setting spray before I go in with highlighter. So now that my face is still damp, I'm gonna go in with my Danessa Myricks highlighting powder, and she has like an end light powder, it's just called Gotcha Girl. And if you don't know who Danessa Myricks is, she has like an amazing Instagram page. She's a makeup artist who started her own brand. And her Instagram is just really, really beautiful. So, put some of this right here. And I want like a really, really bright highlighter. I just want my cheek to be glowing. Since my face makeup is so minimal. Well, minimal as far as color. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna put it on my nose. Let's go a little bit up here. So I just want my base to be glowy. So now, for the star of the show, undefeated. I've swatched it on my hand, but I haven't actually swatched it on my lips. Just anxious to see how it's gonna look. And I own a few of these. The formula is like really, really liquidy, but it's so comfortable. It's like a very, very comfortable matte on the lips. So. I knew it would be pretty. This is gorgeous. I love it. So different, so, so pretty. I don't own a color like this at all. This is so beautiful. Alright guys, this is the end of this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun creating it. I probably always have fun putting my makeup on. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I got a few new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to see you guys again in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.